This workflow shows how you can import and scale a raster image rather than a CAD file. It may be that your beginning point for the design is a scan drawing and this is what you want to work with. And you want to be able to get it as close to life size as possible. It's not as accurate as using a CAD drawing, but it may be all you need to do conceptual design work. We're still going to use the site for St. Louis, Missouri, the example being from the book called Sun, Wind and Light. And it's an option in the pre-modeling stage to using the CAD files, but you can use the image and then from that you'll generate the model. I'm in a Revit project and I want to create a topo surface, but using an image file. First thing, I'm switching to the site level because if I type in VG, on the site level I can see that topography is switched on by default. So when I draw my topography, I'm going to see it coming in. Uh, when I'm ready, I can say insert and I'm looking for an image file. The image file is, uh, I'm going to use this one called Site Image St. Louis. I bring it in, I'm dropping it right in the, my model here so I can see the site. Um, it's it's scanned, so it's not life-size. So the next step is I want to actually size this to make it life-size. Now, I'm going to have to make an assumption because this is kind of a representation of the site. I'm going to assume that the grid is uh, 50 feet in, in size. So if I select my image and then I go to the scale command, um, the way I'm going to do this is graphically, where I give two points to establish the distance in the project, and then a third point to give the actual size that I want, and it will know the difference and be able to scale it. So, for example, here's my first point at that end of the site. I've got, a, I've got 11 intervals of uh, 50 feet, so I'm thinking it should be 550. It measures in here at about that. 124, 6. I'm going to zoom in a bit to try and be a little more accurate. Click on that. So that was the first two points that I gave it. The third point, I'm just pointing to the right with my, with my cursor, so I'm making sure that I'm keeping it aligned. And then I'm going to say 550 because that would be my uh, life size that I want that to represent. It calculates the difference and scales the image. So that image is now scaled to be life size. Okay, now I'm, going to, I'm just going to grab the image. I'll move it back kind of towards the center of my model here, or the center of my, uh, my view. And uh, next, I might want to do something like this, where I pin it, because that'll stop me accidentally dragging on this and moving it somewhere else. Now, now I'm actually ready to, uh, to create the contours.